I have an EasyGo golf cart that I think was built in 2004. I replaced the batteries, but I stupidly hooked them up in reverse polarity and fried the motor controller. I bought a replacement and was vigilant putting all the wires back correctly. This time I completed the 36 volt series with a jumper cable, I just tapped the cable against the battery terminal and it sparked big time. So, I assume something else is bad. I am a retired automotive mechanical engineer and I'm, usually, competent with my hands. What should I do next? Full size image welcome to just answer small engines, let me try to help you. Check you mainsable connections, be sure the batteries are correct, then use your volt slash ohm meter to check the components for shorts. Check the solenoid, motor, and the charger connection and wires to the batteries from the charge port. I installed a new set of batteries in reverse polarity on my approximately 2004 EasyGo with PDS speed control and fried the motor controller. I replaced the controller with a new one and the cart still would not work. I asked just to answer for help. And Curtis B. Sent me a wiring schematic and a troubleshooting guide. After I determined the solenoid is faulty, I replaced it with a new one. This time it checked out okay. However, the cart would still not work. I went back to the troubleshooting guide to inductive throttle sensor, but I am confused by the paragraph titled at the 6-pin connector of the controller. The controller and the schematic both have a 10-pin connector, with one of the wires being red. It does in fact read battery voltage. However there is no black wire, but one of the wires is a dark green with a black stripe. I measured it but there was no voltage. I found that all the wires were connected with the right colors on the right pins per the schematic except for one. Pin number 1 is gray, and it should be orange with red. It also measured no voltage. Where do I go from here? One other question, the schematic that Curtis sent me has the yellow with white wire and the red with white wire highlighted and the read switch in the charging connector and the key switch circled, but I cannot see such a switch. Could it possibly be magnetic? Thanks again, Jim Bader at Dash. Diagram I sent was for a 1206 controller. What controller do you have? The model you have may not have switch of the charger plug. There would be single wire coming from the positive side of the connection if it has it, going to the key switch. I see you are having problems getting back to me. See if this one comes through. Scroll up to see the wiring schematic. Thank you, Curtis things seem to be working with our communications now, I had to pay again, but that's okay as long as we can keep going. The motor controller that I purchased from Flight Systems Industrial Products is 761206MX430136 volts 350A EasyGo PDS control. The diagram I sent should be the one for that controller. I assume you did find it. So do you have the 36 volts to the key switch? Key switch has to have power to close the solenoid. Solenoid has to close to power the controller. Where do you have voltage? Battery voltage is 36 plus. Fully charged should be over 39 volts. Dear Curtis, my batteries don't have a full charge, but they measure over 37 volts. There is no voltage on either pin connected to the key switch or for that matter at the switch terminals. Incidentally, the switch checks out okay and the two wires from the controller to the switch are okay. 
By the way, the controller I bought was new, not rebuilt. Jim Bader You say you don't have wire at the card's positive charger connection. Key switch has to get power from the battery positive, run a jumper wire from the battery positive to the key switch to test, to see if anything will work. Curtis, my previous comment about the small red wire going to the charger connector was an incidental question not related to troubleshooting, and yes that is in place. I just ran the jumper from the battery positive to the key switch terminal and I got a spark and a very small wisp of smoke at the controller that had an acrid smell. Jim Curtis, just to be clear, the spark occurred where my jumper touched the switch terminal, and only the wisp of smoke was by the controller. That was with the battery polarity wrong. You have to have power to the key switch. One wire from key has to go to the foot switch, then to the solenoid, the other terminal on the key switch has to be the power terminal. This may be the wire that smoked at the controller. Curtis, no, the reverse polarity battery connection occurred before I have been working with you. It was obvious I had destroyed the motor controller because one end blew out. When I installed the new one I was very careful to hook everything up correctly. That's when I first reached you and you sent me the schematic and a section of the EasyGo technical manual. Using this info I determined the solenoid was bad, and I then replaced it. So here's where I am, yesterday you told me to jump her from the battery positive to the key switch and when I touched it to the key switch terminal it sparked and a small wisp of acrid smoke came from the area of the controller. I then rechecked the solenoid and found it was still good. Also I could find no indication of insulation melting on any of the exposed wires. Since from the start there has been no voltage at the two key switch wires from the controller 10 pin connection. And something I mentioned to you earlier, the controller's connector is a 10 pin and is so shown on the schematic. The technical manual refers to it as a 6 pin, and none of the wires on this connector is black, as referred to in the manual. The colors and pin locations of all 10 wires is in agreement with the schematic except that the wire going to the direction selector is gray, not orange and red. I just called the company where I bought the new controller. They said the 1206 MX controller has always had a 10 pin connector, never anything else. Maybe the new controller is bad, but before I look into sending it back, I wish you to help me rule out any other possibility. Also, what's up with the number of connector pins and the lack of a black wire? Thanks, Jim. Diagram I sent shows a 10 pin connector. It also shows the wire from the F1 terminal O the motor to the F1 terminal on the controller. Wire color does not matter, position does matter. Do you have wire from F1 motor to F1 on the controller? Curtis, yes. Jim. Okay, what is the voltage on the F1 wire? Curtis, 0.21 V Jim. Okay, what about the A1 cable? Full 48 volts. 36.94 V Jim. You have to find why you do not have 48 volts. Do you have same 36 volts on both ends of the wire? The wire has to have 48 volts to the controller side of the solenoid, at all times, even though the solenoid is not closed. And you have to find why key switch has no voltage. Curtis, battery. 37.54 V solenoid on battery side, 37.54 V F1 terminal with wire connected, 0.21 to 0.22 V, it keeps drifting down, F1 terminal without wire connected, 
0.047 V white wire while disconnected from terminal, 0.23 to 0.24, keeps changing, Jim white wire at motor terminal, 0.215 to 0.210, again, keeps changing and where does this 48 volts come with a 36 volt system? Sorry, has another cart RXV on my mind. Here is link to EasyGo site, shows the solenoid and test. Scroll down the opening page to find the troubling shooting section. Solenoid controller and motor. HTTP colon slash mercarts.com slash cat underscore easygo underscore technical underscore info dot cfm. Dear Curtis, I'm still plugging away to get my easygo cart going. You gave me a link to the manuals, but my web browser could not find it. The address you gave is http colon slash mercarts.com slash cat underscore easygo underscore technical underscore info dot cfm. Are you sure this is correct? Thanks, Jim Bader. Your link works for me. Or just google mercarts.com, then go to technical information and scroll down the page. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.